Fane, did you hear about the excitement last night? No. You didn't hear that crazy yapping and howling? So I was sitting right here on the couch, sit down. And then all of a sudden, out that window, I hear a What do you think it was? Mm, a wolf. We don't have wolves around here. Maybe it was a... Bella? Nope, Bella was on the porch. It was pumpkin. Uh, uh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> pumpkin was downstairs, so what else could it be? Maybe it was a bear trying to act like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we well, don't. see, See, that's the thing is, um, unlike some confused individuals, bears just want to be bears. Did you see it? Um, well, I walked out there and I saw it with my flashlight. I saw one of its eyes. Good morning, lovely people. Welcome back to the farm. Last night, we had some excitement here. Bella knows, don't you, girl? Hello, girl. Yes. Yeah, so. Sitting on the couch, all of a sudden I hear a yapping and a howling. Just down, it sounded like it was on the corner of our property. And sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where things are coming from on our property with the buildings here, and it creates kind of an echo chamber. But going out there with Bella, I am absolutely certain there was something here. I don't know if it was a dog, I don't think it was. I've heard coyotes before, and that definitely sounded like a coyote up close. So I can't absolutely verify what it was, but my best guess is coyote. And Bella picked up the scent pretty quickly down there. And then she took off running in the direction where I had just a minute before seen some eyes. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I had seen some eyes down the road in my flashlight. And so my assumption is we had a coyote just come onto the property or just onto the edge of it and uh, was doing as a coyote does, you know, communicating, trying to send out a signal to determine if this is a, uh, if this property has been claimed or not, probably smelled something from Bella because she goes around marking her territory. But anyway, so it was right down here. Right down here, I heard it. Here's our garden beds. And um, it was probably right there, just across the field drive. I don't know. Anyway, for sure, we had something here. And it was at least of the predator class. It looked fairly large looking at it down the road. We're out here this morning. We're gonna take a look around, see how everybody's doing after the visit from Mr. Coyote. We're supposed to have really high winds today. Now one thing that I can be sure of is that our sheep are okay. Because they're all locked up in the barn tonight. Nothing's getting in there. Looks like all of our ducks and our geese are okay. But what I can't be sure of is if our meat ducks and their electric netting are okay. I guess we'll have to, we'll just have to see. We'll take a look at the sheep and see if they've, any of them have lambed first or if any of them are remotely closer than they were before. Did you check on your ducks? Yep. Are they all still alive? Yep. Uh-oh, I left it. Oh, shoot. I let everybody in again. There we go. All right, we got them in there. Holy crap, she's about to give birth. We have a lamb thing. All right, girl, come here. We have a lamb thing okay. coming right now. We have a hoof. All right, I see a nose and a tongue. This is a big lamb. We have two hooves, and we've got a lamb's little mouth and tongue. Yeah, you're pushing, aren't you? You're pushing hard.
Pushing really hard. Oh my goodness. I'm a little concerned though because the the legs aren't all out. So this could be a problem. I might have to pull. Go! So I don't know how long she's been in labor. Everyone's concerned what's happening. It's all covered in blood, kind of. got a friend. Yes, you finally got a friend. Now you both can dance and prance. Good boy. Yes, you look like Fred too. <laughs> you look like a baby Fred. It's got a little brown tip on its ear. Do you see that? Also got some brown back here. It looks like unless that's no, it's got to be brown. <laughs> so how exciting is that, guys? We've got another baby lamb, another little buck lamb. I've just been rooting for Big Mama to go into labor for. <laughs> Let's see what's today. Today would be the 18th. And I knew that she could go into labor about the same time that our black sheep went into labor. So it's been 13 days later, almost two weeks later, she finally went into labor. And I'm just happy for her because she was not comfortable. And uh, I'm glad that we caught this one. Um, she was uh, probably, this was one that could have really been problematic if we hadn't found her. Uh, we had to pull that lamb and it went really smooth. Becky was out there to help me. So I'm glad that she made it out here in time to help me pull the lamb and the lamb survived. Sometimes when they get trapped like that for too long, they can die. But uh, this lamb was rearing and ready to go as soon as we pulled it from the birth canal. Anyhow, I'm gonna get to work here and then we'll check back in with the lamb and make sure that he is nursing and all that as soon as I'm done with my chores. And Becky's in there watching him right now too, so we're not just leaving him. We like to make sure that they're nursing before, before we just take off and do anything else. You got any singing bacon this morning? Singing the song of the bacon. Oh, and they go right for it. Yep. There we go. Okay. All right, this is the first day of a new uh, feed mix that I had specially made for them because I realized they weren't getting enough protein and they were not getting enough uh, minerals in the last batch. I mean. They were, if I was feeding them enough of it, they'd eventually get what they needed. But there's only so much that, you know, the body can absorb from the food. Now this is a higher protein and higher mineral uh, count feed mix. And they should be doing really well on this now. They want to eat you soon. They want to eat you soon? Yeah. <laughs> they won't eat you. Oh my goodness, you touched him. Oh, he moved. Oh no. All right, parkour, parkour, parkour.
we go. Got one free. Yeah, he's almost as big as Buddy. He got his first drink of milk. He started nursing for quite a little while there. He's uh, he's doing pretty good then. <clears throat> now it looks like he's taking a little rest before he goes back to nursing again. So everybody's doing good. I think I'll uh, go get the ducks some water and we will check back with her. See how she's progressing. She's either gonna get rid of the afterbirth or she's gonna have another lamb. We got a brand new lamb on the farm, and it looks like, I didn't say this while I was in there, but it looks like we might have two of the black face sheep about to go into labor if they aren't already. So we'll see, we could have three lambs today. I'm not gonna get my hopes up yet, but <clears throat> if, we see, uh, if we see any more signs, we'll definitely give you an update. Have a great one and stay free, friends.